Ahoy crew, this is Skipper Chris here, uh, live from <laughs> live from Shagamo Bay in uh, Trinidad, where we are getting ready to do the uh, to start the next adventure, which is the Windward Islands, which goes from Trinidad all the way uh, via Tobago to uh, St. Lucia. The first, uh, the first part of the uh, of the adventure is um, from Trinidad to Tobago, and it's quite a challenging uh, passage because we are going a against the uh, trade winds. We're going east, and the and the winds are coming from the east. But also, we have the equatorial um, current, which runs uh, against us uh, up to three knots. So it'll be a lot of tagging and uh, hawking the coastline to avoid the uh, the tide. The crew arrived on the day one and uh, I had to do a lot of immigration and custom uh, paperwork. It's very cumbersome here in uh, Trinidad. The crew went into the jungle and they did a hike up to a uh, airplane crash and it was uh, exciting as you can see on the photos. We finally set sail in the afternoon on Monday and motored up to the uh, first anchorage which was uh, just around the corner, uh, Scotland Bay, and it was beautiful, uh, very uh, Amazon uh, jungle-like. In Scotland Bay uh, we spent the night and we had to get up very early because we wanted to catch the tide uh, going out of um, Dragon's Mouth and also uh, the first four hours we will be getting a, um, a tide with us uh, going east that will uh, offset the equatorial current, which is running west. The north coast of, um, of Trinidad is, is quite exposed to, uh, to the uh, groundswell, they call it. There's big waves coming in the night from, um, from the north. So there's very limited anchorages. Uh, so the first anchorage we anchored in was uh, Maracas Bay, which was beautiful, uh, apart from the uh, fact that there was lots of sand flies. We also had to get up very early in Marcus Bay to um, catch the uh, east going tide and uh, the wind was uh, every day. We had a uh, variant wind from 4.3 up to 4.6 so there was a lot of reefing and a lot of uh, unreefing going on. It was good, uh, good practice for the crew. So we spent the whole, most of the day uh, arriving late afternoon in uh, Grand Ravier, the big river, where we also anchored uh, together with some fishermen. From Grand Ravier, we got up early again to catch the east going tide and we only had about 10 miles uh, up the coast until we reached the north eastmost point of uh, Trinidad which was our uh, kickoff point to tag over to uh, Tobago uh, about 26 miles uh, across the uh, equatorial current. So we arrived uh, late afternoon uh, in Store Bay, which is on the south point of uh, Tobago. Finally, we're, we didn't have cloud cover, so we had a beautiful evening uh, looking at uh, stars. Uh, we have spotted the Northern Stars and Ryan's Belt. The next day from Store Bay, uh, Natalie and I, we uh, took a taxi into uh, Scarborough, which is where we had to check in. So Natalie and I spent uh, most of the morning running uh, between immigration and customs to check in, but also we had to check out from Store Bay and then uh, get permission to sail up the coast to Charlotteville, where the Pirates Bay is. We managed in the end and uh, we got some shopping done and off we went again. Again we arrived uh, late, uh, late afternoon. Um, and this time was in Charlottesville, also uh, called Pirates Bay. And I must admit, it was paradise. It was so lovely, a very small um, town. People were extremely friendly. We did the lovely hikes. We went to the fish market and bought tuna for just 10, um, 10 US uh, dollars. Uh, Frederick uh, played football every afternoon with, uh, with the local schoolboys and uh, we had to drag him home uh, nearly, uh, otherwise he would still be playing. We saw huge leatherback turtles in the bay. 
we went hiking also up the, up the mountain uh, and it was uh, jungle like it was uh, lovely wood Charlotteville and Pirates Bay saved Trinidad and Tobago for, for me uh, personally. I was really getting fed up with all this paperwork, but because Pirates Bay was so lovely, I, I think I will come back, but I will come back only to Tobago. After uh, two days or weekend in, um, in Pirates Bay, we uh, Checked out, which was also a delight uh, to check out in uh, Charlottesville. The people are friendly. Uh, okay, a lot of paperwork, but they were friendly and no issues. And then one day afternoon, evening, we set sail and we did a fast overnight passage, uh, doing eight nine knots uh, to to Bago Keys, which is uh, part of the Grenadines and Saint Vincent. Our, our sail from uh, Tobago Keys and all the way up um, along the coast of St. Vincent to St. Lucia was uh, quite windy. Caribbean sailing is quite windy. Normally it blows like five to six. So we had uh, wind from the northeast as well. So there was close reaching. That meant stay sail and one reef in the main at certain times. In St. Vincent, we uh, stopped um, overnight in Cumberland Bay, which was Beautiful, very small bay, and you have to drop just like a bit like a Mediterranean mooring. So you drop your anchor in about 30 meters, and then you reverse into the beach, and then you put two long lines onto the um, onto the palm trees. Close to Cumberland Bay is also the bay where Paris of the Caribbean has been uh, filmed, and then we still saw some sets from there, uh, the buildings. In from Cumberland Bay we had an early start because we had about 50 nautical miles from St. Vincent all the way to Marigot Bay in the northwest part of St. Lucia. Lots of wind again. We arrived after sunset in Marigot Bay which is also known as the uh, hurricane hole. So it's like very narrow entrance and then it opens up inside. Lots of vessels were there, uh, so we didn't find a place to anchor, but we picked up a mooring board.